We're having a baby in three weeks. We will no longer be covered by our health insurer. Oh my God. You want me to be a delivery guy? I want you to be anything if it pays the insurance by Tuesday. Congratulations, you're hired. What am I going to be driving? He says, girls. Uh, what are the benefits? You play your cards right. There could be all kinds of benefits, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the job is being my driver. That's a ride and protection. You carry a weapon? Weapon? No, I do not carry a weapon. What about karate? You know karate? I'm an architect. Mm -mm. Huh? <laughs> I thought she was being tortured. Well, I pay extra for that. Hi. I'm Guy. I'm new. We have a party at the penthouse. This is a huge night. We can't be breaking in a new dude. He's up for it, okay? You could walk away with a grand, maybe two. $2,000? You're gonna have to earn it. You ready for your 15 minutes, Big Daddy? Act like you're Willy Dynamite. Mm -hmm. That way, they feel sorry for us and they tip us harder. The most important thing, learn your script. I have to read this? You have to perform it. You're a pimp, remember? Hello. Hi. way over my head. You've got to bring out that big boss fur coat wear Mac Daddy that I know is in you. Who is ready to party? Everything you will see is real, 100%. Drive the car! I need you to come home right now. My wife's having the baby. It's too much for me. We're about to have a kid. I don't have a career. The kid doesn't need you to have a career. Kids just need a ride and protection. That's um, an open container. Oh my God, okay. that's so cute. What do I do? No karate? I'm an architect. Architect to no karate. Jason! That, my friends, is a selfie. Yes. Nice. Oh, that's like shit. Let's do that one more time. OK, get excited again, everybody. <laughs> No, please do it again. I, I am enjoying this bit, actually. <laughs> if it is a bit, was it a bit or were you? No, I really have to photo? do some like the Snapchat for the movie or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but save it. You should also, I really want to Instagram it later. So good. Save yeah. it. Press here. You got two phones. What are you? What's going on here? And you how go. do you snap it? This. <laughs> I don't like to let him know too much about technology. It's dangerous for me. There you go. Oh, hey, God, you're having this conversation you. in the microphone. <laughs> uh, guys, congratulations on a super funny movie. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank, Thank you. you. My first question, Jason, is I think with one scene in this movie, and I don't want to give anything away, with one scene in this movie, you might have become the king of sexual humiliation when it comes to comedy movies. You mean I wasn't before this movie? I mean, you were close with the with I was fucking the prince. The pie. I was the prince. prince. Now, maybe with uh, your scene with Ashley, you might be the, you I might mean, be the king. I mean... How about Ashley, by the way? I mean, that was... Do you know... Was it in the trailer? I don't think I anybody forget? knows what I'm doing in the movie. Oh, yeah, there's a... There's a special scene where I squirt onto Jason's face. Well, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Does everybody know what squirting like, Do you need me to explain oh. what squirting No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to explain it. Um, yeah, that was... And she really did it in the movie. She's method. <laughs> She's unbelievable. I didn't even know it was a real thing, <laughs> ladies, but wow. Super wow. Casual. Was she super casual about it, too? Like, I Very can do it again casual. if you need it. Don't worry about it. I was like, okay, where's the little ho? They're going to do, like, some effect. You know, we had, you know, it's <laughs> no, a No, no, I got this. It's a Hollywood movie. We have all kinds of effects and stuff. And <laughs> I remember that day, Ashley was like, well, no, I can, I'll do it. And I was like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> remember? <laughs> I wasn't allowed on set. I think that's I right. It was, a, close it was set. a close set, or you had to wear a poncho, and um, <laughs> close set. It was just you and her, and then ten frat bros. Yes, exactly. In the, in the scene, um, but no, Ashley was. Uh, that was that was a that great. That was a fun scene. scene. That yeah. was a fun scene. Yeah. So talk to me about deciding to do that scene, being okay with doing that scene. Well, you know, actually. Um, when I auditioned for the role, I hadn't read the script yet. I just had read the audition sides. And this is based on a true story, on our director's true story. So Joey and Lisa were in the room, and they're like, oh, just so you know, like that whole squirting scene is real. And I was like, oh, yeah, because I had no idea what they were talking about. So I was like, that's so crazy. And then <laughs> when I got offered the role, 
I kind of like they wanted to know right away. So I was like looking through the script really fast and did not see the scene where it's my character doing that. So I sign on to the movie. I get to rehearsal. I had heard about a squirting scene and I was like, oh my gosh, I told Bria Murphy. I was like, Bria, that scene that you have to do, that's going to be crazy. And she was like, me, that's you. And I was like, what? And my mom had read the script, and she had told me, like, the whole movie, she's like, it's so good, you're, you're going to be really great, like, I think it's so good for you. And I was like, Mom, Mom, how can you not tell me there's a squirting scene in this movie? And she goes, oh, honey, it's just lube. And I was like, you don't know what squirting is, so it's like, I, you're fired from reading scripts. That's so funny. No, actually, your mom does know what squirting <laughs> is, and I'll tell you why I know that. Um, <laughs> I wanted your mom to be like, got ya. Like, <laughs> yeah, now you're signed right? on to this movie. Uh, so, um, so yeah, it was like when I found out it was me, I was like, so how are we doing this? And then, you know, it was so much fun. And Jason, what, uh, what, about, what about you? Do you have reservations when you're going, when you're going in to do a, mo do a movie and you get sexually humiliated again after? At, at this point, if I'm not getting sexually humiliated in a movie, it's, um, it's not a movie I want to do. <laughs> Or, or C. <laughs> um, You're gonna push your brand any further, so you yeah, wanna, yeah, yeah. I've already, I've peaked. Well, look, I peaked in the early 2000s. We all know that, but um, <laughs> don't say that. No, I, <laughs> I, uh, no. At this point, do I have a booger? No, you're okay. good. At, I like that. I'm your wife, and you're yeah, like asking like, her. Do <laughs> okay, good. Oh, hey, well, baby. Jenny, we had a squirting um, scene together. That's so, true. Yeah. You're yeah. bonded on a different yeah, level. Yeah, we're bonded biblically, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And um, no, for me at this point, it's, uh, you know, those kinds of scenes, I, I do take a weird sort of little pride in, in that I've kind of, you know, I've become an actor that will do all those kinds of things. But, but the truth is, like, if, they, if it doesn't feel organic to the movie, you know, or if it doesn't really feel like it's something that the character might actually do in a situation he might end up in, that makes it just feel gratuitous, and it's not something I'm going to... It's not a movie I'm, I would want to be involved in anyway, I mean, those kinds of, of movies. I, I like to think, I mean, maybe other people disagree, but I like to think that in the scenes that we're referring to, whether it's the scene Ashley and I had in this movie or the pie scene, of course, that it works in the context of the movie as a whole, you know? So if I can believe that my character needs to fuck a pie, then... <laughs> then I believe the scene will work and, the, and that other people would, will hopefully believe it. But, um, yeah, my, my bigger fear is that is just doing stuff that might feel gratuitous, not, oh, how embarrassed am I going to be? Because at this point, I'm, there's really, I have no shame. I have zero shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mentioned fucking the pie, and I want to stick to the movie, but I'm just going to ask one question about fucking the pie. Because I've always been curious, and I've never actually interviewed you personally, when you did... Fuck the pie. <laughs> when you got the job, did you worry at all? You guys are easy. I love it. We can just sit here and say fuck a pie all day, and you guys are... <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> you guys are in. I don't even care about the answer to this question. I'm just saying fuck a pie over and oh, over right. again. No, no, no. no. No, absolutely. But ask me your question about fucking a pie. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> when you... Fucked a pie? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> did you... Were you worried at all that your future career, because you're young, you're just starting out, this is your first big break, were you worried at all that you would solely be known as this guy who fucked, fucked a pie? A pie? <laughs> um, uh, I wasn't um, until the day I, I was supposed to film the scene. And that morning, I kind of had a, 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 a freak out because I had not thought about it in those terms at all, I think. And I, in fact, quite the opposite. I sort of went into the movie and, and getting the audition process, getting the part and the whole thing, thinking like, wow, I'm going to be the guy that gets to do this. This could really be something amazing. And it wasn't until literally they were like, oh, you know, knock on the door, Jason, we're ready for you, that I was like, I'm really going to fuck a pie. <laughs> like, what the fuck? If no one sees this movie, I'm just a guy that fucked a pie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you're famous in 20 years, and they're like, "Let's take a look back at your first role, Jason." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but I remember I called my manager that morning and and kind of was just like, "Am I really gonna? This is? Am I actually doing this?" He's like, "You p fuck that pie with all you got, Jason." <laughs> he really did say that. He really did. And you did. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, I gave, you, I gave it. I gave it my all. Well. Let's give him a hand for fucking the pie, everybody. Hey, thank you. 
Jenny, uh, Jason, Jason's your husband. You guys, ha you guys have a child together. In the movie, your characters are married, and you, yes. you, you're true. Expecting. All true. All true. Like the movie. Tr yes. True events. Uh, is it easy for you guys to play husband and wife in a movie? Was that exciting for the two of you to do? Um, yeah, I think it, the harder obstacle for us at that particular time was the fact that we had just had a baby, so our child was about seven months old when we were shooting the movie. Um, we neither one of us were getting much sleep. We probably hated each other at home, but we loved each other on set, and we're here today. So extremely I think it worked out well. We're extremely supportive and wonderful to each other as characters, and then when you got yes. home, you were just like, get me the laundry. I'm like, I resent here. you because you're the only other fucking person here. <laughs> yeah. So the marriage is going well. Child rearing is going well. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Uh, sorry. What'd Take you say? In. Take it in. What'd you say about getting divorced? <laughs> Is that was that the que not the question? <laughs> oh, my head must be somewhere. Sorry. What? Well, ju having just had a baby seven months ago and 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 being married, you know, not you guys haven't been married that long, right? A few years. Nine, almost nine years. Nine years. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Uh, were you nervous going into? <laughs> High five. High five. Thanks, They're all neglecting the fact that he just mentioned divorce as well. So. <laughs> Do you, did you have any reservations going into playing a married couple, being on set all day and then being at home? Or did you think it'd be good for your relationship in that moment? Or did you just kind of think about it as something fun that you could do as actors? Well, the, Jason, they came to Jason about the movie and then I guess brought up the idea. They said, you know, will you tell it? <laughs> right, because you don't want to say that. That's so funny because she knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> They brought it up to me. They said, we're really big fans of your wife. That's so funny. That's what you didn't want to say, because it sounds like... They you sound were like, like You sound like an asshole if you okay. say that. If Listen, you're like, anyway, they were, they were really big fans of mine. Uh, this is what Jason told me. They yeah. said that they just love me. And yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, they were obsessed with me. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, they said, basically, you know, would your wife want to do it? And at first, I'm thinking, great, you know, they're going to ask me to be some, like person buying a frappuccino in the background of like a Starbucks scene you have with some other, you know, more successful actor. I'm like, Fuck, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do it. I don't need that right now. <laughs> I just had a baby. Um, and then I read it and I was like, oh my God, it's, it's a real movie and it's a real role. Um, and and you're in a lot of the movie. And you yeah, we an thought we could have a lot of fun well. with it and it would be something that, you know, we could one day show our son. Maybe not Ashley's scene. <laughs> Maybe we'll wait like one more year. He's two. So I think at three, he'll be ready for squirting. He's not currently. Right now, he's just squirting. He has a little hank yeah. from Finding Dory that he squirts water out of. We, we pretend it's him peeing. But next yeah. year, we'll pretend well, that it's, 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 that it's Ashley squirting. squirting. Yeah. Say, why does she have the Finding Dory thing between her legs? I don't understand. <laughs> exactly right. That's exactly that. right. Yeah. Um, Where's Hank? He's going to watch that scene. He's going to be like, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> and I would be like, that's so funny. How did you know the name of Ashley's... Vi no. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what drew you uh, to playing this role outside of getting the chance to do a squirting scene, which apparently you didn't know that I you didn't were even doing? know about that. Um, well, you know, obviously, uh, I really did uh, like the script, and I knew Jason Biggs was doing it, and I've always been a huge fan of his. <laughs> no, it's seriously, I was always a huge fan of his, so um, I was super excited to, to just be able to work with him. And also, big fan of Jenny Mullen as well, because my husband actually has followed Jenny for like the longest time on Twitter and Instagram, and so when I said that Jenny was in the movie too, he was like, that chick is so awesome, and he was all <laughs> stoked about it. Were you nervous at all about, because uh, you didn't know about the other scene, but were you nervous about any of the strippers, stripping scenes that you had to do or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. I think, I think that's also what drew me to the movie is that it scared me a lot because I'm so used to doing stuff in my comfort zone and this was completely out of my comfort zone. So uh, definitely scared, but everybody was super respectful and super cool. And uh, yeah, it was just, um, it was a lot of fun. Jason, your character has a lot of reservations about becoming a father at some points in the in the film. You clearly just said that you know you just had a kid a few months before shooting the movie. Did you bring a lot of those sort of early reservations that you may have had or even or any of those thoughts that you had to the role? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that it was reservations for me personally so much as just general anxiety. I mean, which I still have. I mean, but you know, you 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 are about to become a parent and then you're a new parent and I don't know, I've, I've talked to parents who have been parents for a while and there's still a sense of sort of, you know, you're always 
worried about being able to provide and take care and protect and all the things that you do as a parent. And so, you know, I, and especially in my field of work, I mean, it's, you know, I just, you just never know. I mean, there's the inconsistencies of my life in general and where I need to be and when I'm working or when I'm not working or anxiety inducing without a child. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I don't think it was that hard to sort of tap into a sense of, you know, fear about about being a, a dad, especially because, you know, Sid was only about seven months old. And so I was just a few months removed from the of that kind of dread, which is I don't have the kid yet, but holy shit, what happens when he gets here, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Jenny, what about you? Were you tapping into any of those sort of uh, feelings that you had during your pregnancy? I mean, I'm still living in a state of, like, constant fear. I think once you become a mom, you're never not afraid. And um, and I, I had to, I think I went through a real, like, postpartum sort of journey with that. And when I did the movie, I was just at the tip of the iceberg with it. I mean, so many other crazy shenanigans ensued after the film. The film was probably the calmest part of that first year for me. <laughs> Can we hear one shenanigan? Oh, yeah. They're all in my book. Uh, live, live Fast, Die Hot. Live Fast, Die Hot. hot. It's out now. now. Um, one of the shenanigans was I you know, journeyed to Peru to do ayahuasca with Chelsea Handler. One was I got in a fight with a guy on Etsy, which led me to Mor the mountains of Morocco because I obviously needed to meet the women who wove the rug that I was buying from said guy on Etsy. Um, <laughs> you know, I moved our entire family to New York from Los Angeles because I became convinced that my house was haunted. After speaking with a psychic, I learned that it was a ghost dog, but he had an old man partner. Was the psychic Miss Cleo? Rest you know, just like Cleo. typical mom stuff. <laughs> so you could say I had a little bit of anxiety, I guess. I have uh, unfortunately not read your book, but now I'm going to because you did ayahuasca in it. But I am going to ask you, how was ayahuasca? Oh, it's crazy. It's so crazy. It's like, you know, I mean, you're vomiting and shitting at the same time. But after that, you have this, you know, sort of hallucination that feels like seven years worth of therapy. And um, you learn all sorts of things about yourself. And you come back thinking you'll never do drugs again. And then you do drugs again. And, you know, it's just like, I mean, it's really very interesting. You should definitely try it out. Cool, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't asking because I'm interested in trying it. it just, it's not like a dream of mine or anything. Uh, let's go to the audience for some questions about the movie or ayahuasca if you, want, if you guys want to talk more about that or acid. You Whatever know. you guys want to talk about, we're here for you. Um, this question's for Ashley. Will you be back on Young and Hungry? Will I? Yeah. Um, I just was on Young and Hungry, so I was on last week. Oh, Yes. <laughs> I'm really excited. Shut her down, Ashley. Shut her down. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, was I? Yeah, I just was. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, next question. I'm next. Hello. <laughs> coming through. Coming through. You guys are hilarious. Um, can't can't wait to see the movie. Um, so what was your favorite part besides the squirting part? Um, what was your favorite part about filming the movie? Who is that to? Oh. Um, well, uh, that's, a, that's a good question. I really just enjoyed the whole experience. I mean, it was kind of a quick one. It's a smaller movie, and it was, it was kind of a quick ex experience, but a, but a really good one. You know, these kinds of movies, because they are smaller in scale, you know, it requires, you're very intimate, it's very, um, you know, you got, you, it's long hours, long days, and it requires everyone across the board to be cool and down and uh, cooperative and, and everyone, well, almost everyone was <laughs> super great to work with and, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I actually have to say one of my favorite parts, and obviously I love Ashley and she's sitting right here, but I, I really did, I, I was kind of reluctant about how Jenny and I were going to do together, and you know, we've been, we've had opportunities in the past to to do this sort of thing, but have passed on it. And you know, it's just it, we're married first, and we're parents to Sid first, and she's a writer, and I do this stuff, and she does that stuff, and I do this. But we were afraid of getting together and then, you know, f fighting or you know any of the normal fears you would have. But it ended up being great, and that so that was probably one of my favorite parts. Mm. Yeah, and I was just on Young and Hungry. <laughs> Uh, next question. <laughs> hey, it's for Jason. Um, 
so obviously you're no uh, you're no stranger to making self deprecating movies like very raunchy kind of movies. How does <laughs> how does this movie compare to those to uh, those movies like American Pie? And will there be another American Pie? Um, uh, it it uh, g thank you good question and I think it compares you know surprisingly uh, like positive like it, it it actually does compare the fact that it even compares at all is impressive because this is a much smaller movie you know and it does kind of show that you know with the right script and the and the right cast and the right joke idea you can actually make it feel bigger and make it sort of compare to things that might have been much bigger in the past. So, you know, again, I, we keep talking about this scene that Ashley and I had together, but that's a big moment that I haven't seen in other movies, you know, of, it, that are much bigger in scale. And for someone who's done a lot of those kinds of movies, it's it's getting harder and harder to find new sort of jokes like that. So, so a bag I, of bag of dicks as well was a pretty oh good yeah. joke, and the that, is, that was yeah, actually a great one. one as well. Yeah, you're yeah. absolutely washing the uh, the, the dildos. Buffet. Yeah, the dick buffet was also very good. Uh, yeah, I think you can tell it compares very well, I guess. Um, and uh, American Pie, uh, will there be another one? I, I don't know. I mean, there's always sort of, you know, talk about it. Um, they get increasingly more difficult just because there's a lot more sort of things in play and people's lives are going in all different directions. But I would love to do another one. I'm always down to do another one. I, I think those are the, that, that character is, the, the, it's, he's the most fun I've ever had playing anyone before. And, you know. Yeah, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Uh, next question. Hi, how are you? Thanks for being here. Um, Jason, hi. Oh, sorry, right, right here. Hi. <laughs> um, Jason, I just was on it. In. You were. Um, I just had a question about you as a person and like your characters that you portray. I know that every time a movie comes out that you're in, I'm automatically like gravitating towards it because I know that your character is somebody that's like. Um, an optimistic character to like watch on screen. So off screen, are you? Very negative. I'm a very <laughs> negative guy. World is going to hell and uh, we're all going to die probably today. Anyway, next question. <laughs> so your personality is like similar to the characters you portray on screen? That's a good question. Yes and no. I mean, I think I should uh, answer that. You should that. probably answer it, <laughs> actually. I think Jason is, you know, when I met Jason, I expected him to be that guy. And I don't, I think that that's just sort of one facet of who he is. I think that there are so, I think he's much deeper than you would expect. He's also, um, I, I don't, I feel like he's, not, I don't want to say slick, but he's not a dork in that way. He definitely knows, you know, I mean, he, is a, a smooth operator. He's, not, you know? he's, he's just like, I think he's a little bit cooler than the, the guys. He always gets the guy who's like, dumb dude, oh, how did I get here? It's like with Jason, I feel like he's like, okay, we're going there, this is happening, and then, then uh, um, yeah, and that, that really took me by surprise. Seemingly, seemingly less neurotic, I would say. Well, he's neurotic in other ways. He stubs yeah. his toe and he's like on the ground, like writhing in pain as if he's like been stabbed. With I would like say a that's thousand. dramatic, not neurotic. <laughs> The neurosis. Um, the neurosis. Then he like washes it with like alcohol yeah. and the neosporin yeah. and bandy, and it's like a whole yeah. process. Well, but I'm probably gonna have to cut my whole foot off after yeah. that happens. I mean, but no, right? you are darker. He's so much darker. I mean, when I met him, we're like joking. Like the the first Careful. conversation we had was like, "Oh, you're on Zoloft. I'm on Zoloft." I mean, you know, it's just like <laughs> it's a lot. It's not the guy you. It's not Jim. You know. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. Still on that shit, by the way. <laughs> uh, next question. Hey, you three. So it's been a very enlightening conversation about squirting and God? high fucking and God oh, and Zoloft. Um, I'm very curious about Amateur Night. It uh, looks like that there's a lot of wild characters in the film. I'd like to know if there were any wild stories on set when the cameras weren't rolling. Mm. I mean, I feel like I don't know if that was a wild story when everybody got stuck in the elevator. I, yeah, but that is a, f I mean, that's but the... you weren't part of it, though. Yeah, I was. You were in the elevator? Ugh. Hi, I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was in a movie with you. I didn't know you were in the elevator. <laughs> if you're not on Young and Hungry, she doesn't know it. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Um, no, I mean, that was just, like, one of those stories that you just don't really see happening during production. So it was like I was done and ready to go, so I went downstairs and took a selfie, of course, in the elevator. 
for some reason, and then everybody else got in the elevator and got stuck there for how long? Like 30 minutes? Yeah, the uh, fire department fire had to department come and had break come. us out. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, and felt you bad for them. farted <laughs> at one point. Remember, it was about 10 minutes this in, and we still had story mi- starts. <laughs> it was still like 10 or 15 minutes we were stuck in there, and that one fart <laughs> stayed with us the whole time. <laughs> Crazy. In fact, the fireman finally got the door open, and the one fireman immediately put that mask on, you know? Like, it was like, holy shit, there was a fire in here. And I said, no, Ashley just farted. <laughs> I, I, oh, God. I dare to ask, when it comes to Ashley, which do you prefer now, the fart or... There was no the farting. There was only squirting. <laughs> yeah, there was... I only squirted. I only squirted. Uh, I think this is the last question right here. My question's for Jenny. What's it like to be married to the guy who uh, fucked a pie? <laughs> You're a quick learner. You're a quick learner. I think uh, it's, I get more apple pies at restaurants than you can even imagine. Every time, you know, I just, it's endless. I've had every kind of apple pie by now. I, I said, I wish that you had fucked a Rice Krispie treat or something I was into <laughs> because, like, I'm not an apple pie person, and I'm stuck with this. That would hurt so bad, fucking a Rice Krispie treat. But how delicious. Uh. <laughs> It'd also be so small, it'd signify something I'm not sure you'd want the movie to, to signify for you. Be- You're right, I know. God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, when can people see Amateur Night? August 5th. Yeah, August, August 5th. 5th. And then August 5th. 12th. And on, August 12th. Yeah, video on demand. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations, guys. Thanks so Thank much for you. being here. Thank you. Thank you.